Today we're taking a look at the replace command in ms-docs. The replace command functions a lot like copy, except it gives you more options for what you would like to copy. There are six switches in total for the replace command, and we're going to go over them one at a time. First of all, I would like to try the slash a switch. It stands for add. Let's try it. So for the command, we type replace and any switches after that, which in this case I used slash a, followed by the source, which is our floppy drive. I have a floppy disk in there with some files on it and the destination directory, which is our data directory on the C drive. The replace command found one file that did not exist in the destination directory, so it copied the file over. The next switch I would like to look at is slash u, which means update. So it's looking at the date that the file was last modified. If the date of the file on our source, which is our floppy disk in this case, is newer than what's in the data directory, it will be copied over. In this case, we had one file on the floppy disk that was newer, so that was copied over to our data directory for us. Next, I would like to look at a combination of switches. We're going to use slash s for subdirectory, slash w for wait, and slash p for prompt. So here's what happens when you type in the slash w switch. You are prompted to press a key before the command will execute. This is very useful if you need to switch floppy disks before executing the command. Slash P is going to require us to say yes or no to every file before it makes any changes. One thing that I find peculiar is that I don't get any more information here than the name of the file. I personally think it would be beneficial to have maybe a last modified date or something that would indicate if one file is newer than the other, like we get with modern Windows operating systems. If you're copying over a file that already exists, it gives you a few details on the files so you can figure out if you want to replace the file in the destination folder or not. So in this case, I'm going to say no to the text documents here. And it's just the letter Y or the letter N. You don't press enter afterwards. Lastly, we'll take a look at what happens if you just type in replace with no switches. that does exactly what you would expect. It replaces all of the files that have a matching name between the source and the destination.